Okay, welcome back. It looks like I explained something um, not quite correct when it comes to one of the results that OpenLCA presents. Um, so I just want to go through and clarify my mistake. <clears throat> yeah, I am a little bit new to these results outputs in OpenLCA because I am more accustomed to using my own uh, software, my own coding and in other softwares as well. Um, so it's, it's still a bit of a learning progress for me, but um, I think I got it got it down now. So the issue at hand is to do with the contribution tree. So what I mentioned earlier was that there's it looked to be a, a cutoff um, criteria where if a process contributed less than a certain amount, then it's not included. But it would seem like that is not the case. And and so my mistake was that in explaining that. Um, if you add up all of this, it's roughly 96%, but that that remainder is actually occurring at the the process at the next basically the next tier up. So so all of these all of this is happening upstream of this process, and that's why it's not adding up 200% because that remaining percentage, if you added up all of this. Uh, and you take the difference and multiply it by the total, that would be the direct impact occurring at this process. And, and likewise, you can go deeper and you can say, okay, this is, so 75.74% is due to pig iron production, everything upstream. So if you added up all of this and multiplied it by the total, the total impact, um, you're gonna get all the indirect impact occurring uh, upstream of pig iron and then so the difference between the total minus the sum of this multiplied by the total will give you the direct impact at pig iron production and I worked out the numbers and it actually um, works out to being 100% uh, inclusive and so I'm going to show you how you can use this for doing a contribution analysis in a little little more detail so um, so like I said earlier, we wanted to focus on at least the value chain of interest, which was um, the processes that we created. So we have iron ore beneficiation, and then we have iron uh, mine uh, ore. And then this, these are these are indirect imp impacts due to inputs for iron ore mining. Um, and so what you can do is you can copy this out as I already did into Excel um, and I show it right here so what I did was I created a uh, I, I, I basically created a, a two columns and I'm, I'm figuring out what's the direct impact occurring at a given process given activity and the indirect impact that doesn't include the further the, you know the further we go down into this process so so basically what this indirect impact is including is everything um, every all the other uh, inputs besides the main value chain of interest that we want to break down so it's, it's the direct occurring at steel plus the indirect occurring from other processes going in uh, directly, uh, so their value chains going into steel production. But then I didn't include the indirect due to this 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 value chain that uh, includes pig iron, everything up, upstream of pig iron, because we wanted to see those details in our results. So then we can go to the the next activity of interest, and that would be pig iron production. So the the total. Um, would basically just be uh, the direct impact. Yeah, so the, the, the calculation is essentially um, the the total minus the sum of, of everything at this tier uh, multiplied by the total. And so it's, it's just taking away all the indirect to give you the direct. And then the indirect would be um, you just multiply the total by the sum of the indirect uh, impacts that are, that that are going into steel production, but not including this this value chain that goes into the pig iron value chain. Likewise, pig iron. Now we just go a step in, and so 
this is all the impact to the pig iron value chain. And so we want the direct, so we just take the total and we subtract the sum of the percentage of this, this, this level of tiers. And then we'll get, uh, we'll get the direct. And then the indirect, again, we take the total and uh, we multiply it by all the other inputs that, that aren't part of the value chain for, for pig iron to get, to get the inter indirect other. And so we can go to the next step. Um, for, for, our, for our next process of interest, which was uh, iron ore uh, beneficiation. So we can go this, the, <clears throat> the, the total would be, um, if you take the total impact, you subtract the sum of the entire column. So sum, so we're, we're here, so we want to take so we know 1.23% is due to this value chain, every direct and indirect. So we just want the sum of this value chain, right? And so I could just go sum. It's probably better to, um, oops, it's probably better to be more selective in what you choose and rather than choose the whole column because if you punch down into another area in your value chain, you don't want to, you want to be careful not to sum that. You only want to sum what's, what's, going in to another next tier of this value chain of iron ore beneficiation, which is only these processes. So we take the total there, we'll, we'll get, um, oh, we have to multiply it by um, the total like this. And okay, that's some percentage we wanted in general. Oh, sorry, this should be uh, the total of that value chain. So here, yeah. And then for, yeah. And then for uh, indirect, it would be uh, the sum of the, the impacts uh, of, of inputs that aren't part of the value chain that we're going into, which would be iron ore operate the, the mine operation here. So we would leave that one, but we would include all the other ones. Uh, and then we, since that's in total absolute percentage in terms of uh, total impact, we just multiply it by the total impact to get the indirect there. And then, um, the, so we just did uh, iron ore beneficiation. And then the last process of interest that we wanna highlight is uh, iron ore, iron mine operation. So uh, likewise, we'll take the total of that value chain to direct and indirect, and we're gonna subtract uh, all the indirect, which is just a step into it. So these processes here um, that, that, are, that are going into iron mine operation. So it's basically the indir indirect impact of iron mine operation. And again, that's in uh, total in terms of the total 100% of the total impact of the system. So we can multiply it by total impact and that's going to be the direct. And then the indirect will be the sum, uh, whatever we don't want to sit. So we're not going any further, farther into this value chain. So we just include everything and multiply it by the total. Okay. So this is giving you a breakdown. Um, in terms of the impacts occurring at these key processes. So uh, we have uh, this, this. All right, so, oh, I forgot to add uh, center production. So what would that be? So the direct would be, um, uh, you take the total of that value chain, so direct and indirect, which would be this one, minus the sum of the indirect which would be, uh, if you look at center, so it would be uh, everything here. So I, all the indirect, so that would be the direct. And then we want the, in, the oh, sorry, I didn't multiply it by the total. And then now it's in percentage, so I gotta change that back. Okay, there we go. And then the indirect, not including the other value chains of interest as we punch down further, 
would be the sum of the indirect. So we have center, so uh, this one and uh, this one, uh, not iron or bear, not iron or beneficiation because we're trying to highlight these value chains, but all of these because we're not interested in highlighting these. Oh, I just lost that one, so I'll just add it with a comma. And since that's an absolute percent of the uh, relative to the total, we'll just multiply it by the total impact. Um, okay, so so with that breakdown, we can if we highlight um, this, it should it should equal the total. And if we see the sum here is 1.941 uh, one if you round it. So yeah, it does equal the total. So that gives us 100% um, contribution um, for these. Uh, for these processes. Okay, so what, what can that allow you to do then? Well then, you're able to graph it uh, in terms of a, a breakdown across the supply chain in, in a graph. So if I, if I take these numbers and I put them into a more simplified table, I can have steel alloy direct and indirect. Of course, this again, this indirect doesn't include the value chain and everything uh, upstream of pig iron, but it's all the other indirect inputs. Uh, likewise, with this in, indirect, it includes all the inputs to pig iron, but not including the sinter and everything indirect of it, uh, in, in all the indirect uh, uh, going into the sinter production. So it's essentially including indirect, but not the value chain uh, activities of interest as you go upstream. So you could show the results in that, that sort of detail, um, or you could simplify it and um, and just have uh, like a sum up direct and indirect. So this is basically saying steel um, and an alloy is is responsible. Uh, besides its upstream uh, highlighted activities, it's responsible for um, this amount of impact, um, direct and indirect. Whereas pig iron is responsible for this, but not including the center iron and everything upstream of it, except for this and everything upstream, except for this. And, and this would include everything upstream because there's, there's not a further upstream process to include there. So it's a little bit more simplified. Of course, I would stylize a graph and label it um, and, and, and change this one to, to a label that represents um, what, what, it, what the category of the results are. And you could do that for um, you could do that for one or more impact categories. I don't expect you to do that because it's a little bit um, of a tedious process to to go into it like this. But nevertheless, the con contribution tree is useful for for, for for digging deeper into understanding where the impacts are occurring in the value chain. So yeah, I apologize. That was my mistake. Um, it, it, there is in fact uh, no cutoff uh, percentage. It's it, it all adds up to 100%, um, and it's just that the reason why this doesn't add up to 100% is just because it's missing actually the direct impact occurring at steel production. So there you go. So that makes this actually very useful because then there's no there's no no missing impact uh, in these results, as far as I know.